Well, I think 2023 is still going to be a challenging year for digital and crypto assets, not only because the market is still down and, and frankly speaking, the global economy is going to move into recession in 2023, uh, and that's going to impact the crypto and blockchain-based economy, but also because uh, we are going to move into more regulation and there is a lot of uncertainty still in the marketplace. So I don't expect crypto and virtual assets to return back to early 2022 levels anytime in 2023. Um, but I do think that there is going to be a lot of innovation. And what we have to realize is that it's not just NFTs are not just a new uh, category of digital assets. They are frankly the building blocks for Web3. And so during this period of time, you will see builders, entrepreneurs, uh, investors putting money and putting effort into the pipes into the infrastructure that is going to make Web3 scale in the future. So different kinds of applications are going to be invented for NFT. So they're not just pictures that you put money into and hope that it grows uh, in value over time. It's not going to become, uh, it's not going to be just a speculative asset, uh, but rather it is actually going to become the Lego blocks that eventually assembled will become the next version of the decentralized internet. The, the most exciting thing about 2023 will be the invention of new applications for uh, blockchain technologies, including NFTs. What we are seeing is, is big brands still uh, willing to experiment in Web3, knowing that it is early and no longer worrying about what the top line or bottom line revenues are going to be, but just wanting to understand how do we create assets uh, and how do we create membership platforms that engage a next generation consumer. Uh, and that experimentation, I think, is going to be, uh, we're going to see a lot of in 2023. It's going to be very important to setting up the future of uh, a, a Web3 economy. NFTs fundamentally are ways to, uh, to, to create and then protect IP in the digital world. And that, that's what their, their fundamental uh, that innovation really is. And when we look at history, we realize that there is so much IP that should be protected in this way and that can be of utility uh, in Web3. And so I do expect that over the course of the next several years, more and more historical organizations, cultural institutions, as well as brands are going to realize uh, protecting IP in the real world, great thing. Of course, everyone does this. Um, and now we really need to protect our IP uh, in the digital world. And, and there really was no good way of doing that prior to blockchain technology, prior to NFTs. And so uh, I do expect that more and more of this historical IP is going to be moved into uh, the Web3 world and, uh, and NFTs and, and, and become tokenized as NFTs. I don't think we're going to stop seeing applications of the NFTs uh, that we've seen over the last two years, but there's probably going to be less people trying to launch a PFP collection uh, because I, I think that the market is saturated right now. We have our blue chips and then we have all the rest. And especially in a down market, it's been proven that all the rest can't really hold value. Um, and frankly speaking, all of us as collectors, there's only so many communities that we actually want to unlock and therefore so many PFPs that we ourselves want to, want to own. So I think that we are going to evolve into a world where NFTs really must have true utility. They must have value more so than just a group of people saying it has value. There has to be intrinsic value in the asset itself or the underlying asset that it represents. Um, and so, yes, that, that's what I think is going to drive uh, NFT innovation. A lot will be happening with Artifact Labs in the next year. Uh, we have now officially spun out of the South China Morning Post, and so our uh, customers or our clients and our partners um, are coming from all different places, different industries. And so I'm quite excited about the roadmap for Artifact Labs in 2023 and the projects that we are working on now that we will announce at the marketplace and, uh, and, and launch to our community. I think at least within my area of expertise, I've just covered it. Uh, obviously, the last 48 hours has been very, very interesting. And I imagine that if you've recorded some of these interviews prior to the FTX uh, fiasco, there might be a lot more optimism than there actually is on this day. But I actually think that that's just a natural progression. Well, I really shouldn't. This is a pretty big shock. But um, the reality was that 2023 was going to continue being a challenging market, as I said earlier. 
Um, this definitely makes it even more challenging, uh, but I wasn't expecting 2023 to be a revival of the late uh, you know, 21 and early 22 market anyway.